What's up, guys? It's Eric. I've got the Traxxas uh, XRT-8S back out for another run. This is going to be kind of a mud run. We've had so much rain here lately, and we've got tons of rain in the forecast, and we'll try to sneak out here in between these uh, rainstorms and uh, get some footage in. I do have some more upgrades on this thing, a big-ass horsepower motor, so we're going to see how she does. First of all, I put some Proline Master X tires on here with the M2C extended axles, and then the, and then the M2C 24mm uh, hex adapter right there to run these wheels without any kind of added washer. Uh, perfect tires. I love these things. They're belted. I'll be testing these uh, prototype M2C cup rings right here. These are beautifully made from M2C Racing. I know some other companies make these, but this is their take and their style on them. Uh, pretty excited to have this because under big power, these uh, stock cups like to just explode under a hard acceleration. So that'll uh, hopefully keep them babies together. As far as the electronics, I'm now running this uh, big block in here. This is a Hobby Star 5692 with a 3446 uh, gearing, a hot racing steel spur. And also this beautiful M2C racing motor mount right here. This is uh, uh, just for the XRT. This is the XR series motor mount. It won't fit the X Max right here because of this brace, the, the way the truck is made. But it works perfect in the XRT to abrace that mount and abrace any kind of big can. So you can see I got plenty of room right here for even a longer can if you wanted to with this uh, M2C racing ESC plate. It's basically a sideways mount for your big ESCs. This is a Max 5 I put in here. So as you can see, it just fits in there perfect. It kind of overlaps on this one side a little bit, but you can still there's still plenty of room to slide your battery down in there and I'll latch it down. As you can see, that's just a perfect setup to uh, run your big motor and big ESCs. Big shout out to a uh, Kimberly from Basher Queen. This is her ESC mount. It's carbon fiber, nice polished finish, a nice quality of work as usual from her. Also has the uh, switch uh, mount right there. This is for the Max 6 or if you're running the stock motor or a stock size can so that way you got clearance. But again, this is a beautiful ESC place. So you guys check out uh, her products as well. I'm not going to open up the truck on the bottom, but I am testing out an XR Series center drive shaft. It's basically the same design as the X Max, but the X brace had to be made a little bit different uh, because of the chassis on this truck. So we're going to give this thing a run uh, on 8S again, running Z Packs, uh, 7,000 milliamp. I gave this thing a pretty harsh mud run the other day. I'll probably uh, put that footage up first. It was kind of short, ended up busting a bell crank. Uh, this thing's notorious for busting knees, uh, especially under extreme bashing. So M2C Racing is working on an upgrade for that. A nice 7075 replacement. So, really excited to uh, have another awesome upgrade for this thing. Forgot to mention, guys, it's going to be a challenge uh, steering this thing because I had the truck open the other day and every one of my tabs on the servo was busted off that holds it down. So, it's basically just floating around in there. So, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this thing handles. All right, guys, let's give her a run. <laughs> Definitely got some power. close. Oh, oh, that was rough. <laughs> That's a good test on all the parts. It's the first time I've had the body ejected off too. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Just caught that lip right there. She went down there, looks like a broken arm or a rear hub or something. Man, that was rough. It's a complete crapshoot doing these jumps. I mean, I sometimes you just gotta go for it. I was hoping to clear this and land in the flat down there. It's about a eight foot drop, but let's go see the damage. All right, guys, quick damage report. I don't see any major breaks. It looks like it just uh, knocked off the pin right there at the end of the arm and I released the rear hub and also uh, knocked out the drive shaft and took the uh, M2C cup sleeve with it. So I have to put another one on it. But that was a pretty brutal hit. Oh! Hey, she still runs. Woo! <laughs> Made it that time.
That was a big jump. Ew, doo doo. All right, guys, I just found out my ESC fan went out. This sucker's getting really hot, so I'm gonna give her a nice little bath to uh, cool things off. Oh, yeah, much better. Oh. And she lost her body on the way. That was nuts. Also lost my screws for the wheelie bar and wing mount brace right here. That was odd. That was a really hard uh, slap in this gravel. All right, guys, there went another bell crank. That was a really hard landing. Perfectly flat, but still uh, snapped that bell crank in half. So that's going to kind of end the run. Can't wait to uh, get an M2C upgrade for that. All right, guys, kind of a short video. Just wanted to give this thing a run uh, in between these storms and uh, test out this big motor. This thing has gobs of power. I uh, just really woke the truck up, especially paired with this Max 5 right here. And big shout out to a Mitch and Avery for their innovation and then coming up with a nice plate to uh, house this uh, big ESC right here and this awesome uh, motor mount. Everything is still in here nice. Uh, nothing's moved. Everything's still supported. Haven't lost my mesh. Cup rings are doing their job uh, keeping these cups together. I would have already snapped probably three or four of those just with the sheer amount of torque this thing has with this uh, electronic setup. The M2C center drive line is still butter smooth. I did bend some of these outdrive shafts. So hopefully that'll be a, another upgrade coming up. But anyway, had a whole lot of fun. Can't wait to get this thing out again. And I'll see you guys next time. RC Dude 81. Peace out.